Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. As the violence continues in Syria, President Barack Obama has announced new sanctions against President Assad. The US president says his country will continue to increase sanctions to cut off the Syrian regime from the money it needs to survive. The US is under pressure to help rally an international solution in the war-torn country. The announcement comes as anti-regime activists say at least 30 people have been killed in the latest attack on the city of Homs. We will keep increasing the pressure with a diplomatic effort to further isolate Assad and his regime, so that those who stick with Assad know that they are making a losing bet. And we'll keep increasing sanctions to cut off the regime from the money it needs to survive. We'll sustain a legal effort to document atrocities so killers face justice, and a humanitarian effort to get relief and medicine to the Syrian people. And we'll keep working with the Friends of Syria to increase support for the Syrian opposition as it grows stronger. Suspicious, Garthi are investigating the death of a man in his 60s whose body was found in an apartment in Waterford City last night. The body was discovered in an apartment complex in Scotch Quay. The cause of his death has not yet been established. A man in his 40s and a woman in her 30s have been arrested and are being questioned by Garthi. Battling Mother Nature, four members of one family have died after being buried alive in Colombia. Two adults and two children from the same family died when their house was buried by the mudslide caused by heavy rains. Large parts of the south of the country have been flooded, with the Colombian Air Force now patrolling the region, ready to mount rescue operations if needed. Defiant, an anti-North Korea protest was held in Seoul in response to North Korea's latest threat. Kim Jong-un threatened to conduct special actions that would reduce South Korea's government to ashes within minutes. This morning, Reuters reported that North Korea is planning a nuclear test which will be ready soon. Ruined, up to 2,000 tonnes of oil have leaked from a major oil field in northern Russia after workers struggled to contain the leak for two days. The accident happened on Friday following work on an exploratory well. The oil had been gushing for nearly two days before the workers finally capped it on Sunday. At least 8,000 square metres of land are believed to have been contaminated. And finally, talk about a stunning light show. This video of the Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis, was captured this morning in Minnesota in the US. If you want to check out the full video, simply log on to the FYI Facebook page. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, sometimes all you need is a little push. This is really happening. At number four, whatever he said, it can't have been this funny. At number three, they say don't feed the birds for a reason. At number two, this gentle giant has major awe factor. And number one today, as if an elevator full of ninjas wasn't weird enough. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.